is up my geeks and freaks big girl geek here with a brand new review and today i'm here to review season one and season two of my new favorite show alter carbon y'all know what time it is it's time for the geek out hey so yeah a couple weeks ago i wrote um i wrote <laughs> i did a video of five um tv shows that pop during quarantine so you know i have my pop five series where i list five my top five favorite things uh depending on the category of the video depending on the subject matter of the video so i did five tv shows that popped during quarantine and i also did five books that popped during quarantine so during my tv show video um i listed five tv shows that i are either new or five tv shows and movies that are either new or old that you can watch to help you get through this quarantine so as i was going through netflix as many of us are doing because we had nothing else going on i came across the show alter carbon now i kind of knew about it um it was like in my peripheral because i'm a huge fan of the uh leading lady of the show renee at least goldsberry she was she played um evangeline williamson on one life to live and i used to be huge into soap operas and that's how i started following her and then she later um got more recognizable through her work on broadway and then she was in hamilton she was in the original cast of hamilton and so that's how she kind of got um like more recognition like if you're a soap opera fan only mostly soap opera uh, fans know who you are when you're on a soap um so when you kind of like branch out into other things that's kind of when you get to um your name gets out there more so that's how she became a, a household name and then i saw that uh, Anthony Mackie, of course, who plays Falcon, was going to be in season two, but I still just didn't watch it. I was like, I'll get to it. It looked kind of like sci-fi channel-ish. Nothing against the sci-fi channel, but sometimes they could be a little iffy, so I was like, I don't know. But um, I definitely was like, you know what? I got nothing else going on, so let me check it out. And this is just a quick little thing. In the background, you may, have, you may hear screaming and laughing. That's my daughter playing Roblox. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get Little Girl Geek to calm that down. So if you hear her in the background laughing, uh, laughing, screaming, she's playing with her friends. And you guys are probably gamers and you know how that goes. So I do apologize. I will try to talk over her. But it, it gets loud with that Roblox stuff. And she's home too with this quarantine. So I just let her have fun and let her do what she has to do to stay sane like the rest of us okay so yeah i checked this out and i was like i don't know if i'm gonna like this Ugh. the first episode season one episode one hooked hooked i was like this is such a weird concept and it's right up my alley so you sci-fi nerds and geeks will completely know where i'm coming from if you watch the show now if you haven't watched the show here is the premise well you can look it up it'll probably if you look it up it could probably be explained better than what i'm going to try and go ahead and explain what the premise of the show is but we're far into the future where you have different planets um there aren't really like aliens that you see on like um star trek and star world uh star wars um they're they can be aliens but they look like us so people from different planets kind of like star trek where you have someone from a different planet and they still look human almost kind of sort of um like a like a vulcan or something like that but they have the pointy ears but they still basically look like human okay so we're in the future we have that we have spaceships and 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 space weapons and and far in advanced technology than what we have in 2020. So basically, there's this woman named Quell Quest Falconer, played by Renee Elise Goldsberry. Um, she is th the head of the resistance against the people that are in control in the future. So very, you follow me so far? So it's very, we see that all the time. There's always a resistance to governments or whoever is in charge, if they're not even government. People who are in charge over government, rich and powerful. And so that resistance is called the envoys. Um, and she is the leader of the envoys. And, um, okay, so spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Um, this is going to be spoilers. <laughs> I cannot talk about this, I don't think, without spoilers. This is a review of season one and season two, and there will be spoilers. So she, um, is the leader of this group called the envoys. And we have someone that kind of worked, his name is Takashi Kovacs. He worked with the other group that she was supposed to be fighting against and then later joins her group the envoys and they fall in love and this is at the heart of it yes a love story that is transcending time so that's the main two main characters and the what they're resisting or what they're fighting is 
she has created this technology where you don't die so your soul is put into what's called um it's, it's like these little discs and then they are then transferred um you could, if your body dies you could transfer the little disc that is implanted into you at a certain age when you're very very young into another body another sleeve <laughs> so let's say i die um from old age or like a, a stab wound or a gunshot wound that was not to the head or to the back of my neck where my little disc is they can take that out i'll still have that has my conscience on it my memories my feelings it's me in the disc and then put that disc in someone else anyone else of any age young old of any race it doesn't matter and then wake up and it could be years within the future and I'm now in a new body and have to accumulate to that new body. But I have all of my memories, feelings, and I know everything that's going on. I remember family, friends, everything that happened to me. With me? <laughs> okay. So, uh, it opens up season one with Takashi Kovacs, an Asian guy, who is now in a white man's body. Um, because he was killed while trying to be captured because he was part of the resistance and it's he was put on tr on trial and sentenced to like an infinity on ice his sleeve on ice but they woke him up like 300 something years later after the death of Renee Lee Scoldsberry's character Quell Chris Falconer after they um ambushed their camp right so his whole thing is he's lost without her he's just trying to figure out what's going on um they took him off ice because a rich person had um wants him to solve a murder his murder he wants to know who killed him and that's basically the premise of, of season one he's going around trying to figure that out while someone's trying to capture and kill him and he's seeing visions of his dead girlfriend <laughs> who is the greatest envoy the greatest fighter the galaxy's ever seen she's super smart she created this and we get all these flashbacks with them and see how they fell in love he um he had a sister that he thought died with in in that envoy attack she's alive and ends up being the whole entire villain of season one so i absolutely fell in love with the series i think i've watched it twice so far while being in quarantine um, at least season one I watched twice I didn't watch season two twice and I mean the acting was great the guy that plays uh, Takashi Kovacs not his original sleeve because you get to see what he originally looked like and then see him in these different sleeves the the white guy is a uh, Rick Flagg from DC's uh, Suicide Squad and he's um, awesome in it and the chemistry that Renee Lee Skills <laughs> Goldsberry has with him and then the original uh, sleeve of Takashi Kovacs is excellent and I absolutely love season one. I, I mean, I had nothing to complain about. It took me, um, when the sister did show up at the end, I was like, oh, she's the villain. And she was the villain. And I, um, that was a great uh, shocker. And and it has this, um, he stays in this AI hotel run by this AI robot, artificial intelligence robot that is absolutely funny and amazing. And then we get to season two. And um, I read online that some people really didn't like it. I like season two, but Anthony Mackie as Tatashi Kovacs did not do it for me. They should have kept the original guy. Now the whole premise, it follows these books, is that he's a different sleeve, a different person every time. So they're going to recast somebody else. And I said in a comic book, uh, in a geek chat recently, that they're thinking about making um, Tatashi Kovacs a woman in the next season for season three. I'm not here for that. But yeah, man, Anthony Mackie is such a disappointment. He did not fit Tatashi Kovacs because Tatashi Kovacs has a um, reputation as being the last envoy, this big bad fighter. Envoys are known to be hard to kill and like almost supernatural. And Anthony Mackie did not fit that. So, I mean... Season two was good with bringing Renee Lee Scholesbury in and making her this big, like, entity goddess type thing. And that was a great story. But total miscast on Takashi Kovacs. But I just wanted to do a quick review, if this is as quick as it's going to be. Um, uh, and just my quick thoughts, not even a review, because I don't want to go episode by episode, because I can't really do that. But overall season, um, because I'm not going to go episode by episode, because I watched all of it. And that would be silly. But I just wanted to put on my channel because I said I was going to talk about it. How this is an amazing show. So that's the premise behind it. Um, I did spoil some of it. But I didn't want to spoil too, too much. So uh, at least season two. So that way um, I won't say who the villain is or anything like that. Or like get deep into all the other things that happened. 
um but yeah you guys definitely check it out if you haven't and if you have checked it out have uh, watched it let me know what you guys think in the comments until next video i'm out of here big girl geek out peace hey where are you going you just watched a cool video subscribe